Hey, what's up guys? It's the Star bringing you back another episode of Diablo 3 Season 27 Crusader. Uh, last episode, we just worked on, we just did, basically spent the whole time doing GRs. Um, quite a few keys. Um, we're in, we're in, the, we're in deep now. We're in the deep grind. It's not very fun, but you have to do it for a Legacy of Dreams or Legacy of Nightmares build, and that is ancient grinding. We need ancients. That's how we get powerful. We did get ancient mage fist. I mean, that's really bad mod, or really bad um, percent, but it's ancient. Um, I got an ancient unity, and I have. I got a second one for the Templar, so we have a unity now, which is good. Um, which basically means we don't need Aquilas in the cube anymore. Um, and because we don't need Aquilas in the cube, we're running um, Fist of Heavens, the Court of Righteousness, so that we can wear the gold wrap and still have this. So the build's coming together. So I'm going to. What do our gems look like? 40, 45, 27. Okay. Um. Maybe we just. Maybe. Let's do a couple GRs. And get our gold wrap up. That'll help um, up our survivability quite a lot. And then we'll be able to actually do T13s. Once we're able to consistently do 13s without dying. That's when we're gonna start making big progress. This is a really good map, and we got a really good enemy type. Not yet. Shit, dude. We're gonna like 70% the first map. This is amazing. Double pylons, first map? Jesus. I will take it. I mean, this is what you get when you're doing, um, Empowered Rifts. Because Empowering Rift, Empowered Rifts, I mean, GRs have a higher chance of giving you better map types, but Empowering them also has a much higher chance of giving you good re good map types with good enemies. So, what do you need? best case scenario, basically. Thirty-two. I am returning to town. Okay. The blood runs. Akarat, be praised. Enemies of the moon. I thought about maybe Gogok, but 
Really, I'm not... With this build, I'm not struggling for damage. That's not... Where we're at. I need... Um... <clears throat> survivability. Which... Means we might have to swap over to... I just don't know how we're gonna get more survivability. <clears throat> and it might come... Honestly, it might come from diamonds. In, arm in armor. Not ready yet. I mean, it's gonna cut, that cut back our damage quite a bit, but... I think we have... We have some to spare. I am looking for a furnace as well. I grant you. <laughs> yes. So, if we can work towards that, I'll be happy to. I think, uh, well, it's gonna take a lot of min maxing, I think, Not ready yet. to get this build up to like 16 standard, to be able to consistently run 16, like, like 90 GRs basically. It's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of min maxing to get there. Patience. And I think the only way that this build really will be able to get there is because of this seasonal thing. Which I'm really, I'm really tempted because there's a Fist of Heavens set bonus. There's a Fist of, he Fist of Heavens set. I'm really tempted to throw the set on and try and work this build into that. Because I think it could be insane. Because the Fist of Heaven set bonus is like 20,000. For boosting the damage of that by 20,000? Jesus, dude. That's easy 16s. And I think I have the full set, so I should be able to do that. Maybe if we get our uh, Boon of the Hoarder up to 45, 50. I'd like to get all my gems to 50, really. Okay, 
graveyard. Yeah, that's Five frame rates. Yeah. I'm fading. Not yet. Oh my Jesus. The Rift Guardian is here. I'm overburdened. What do you oh, need? By six. That's fine. Um, this is a fifty five, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I need to go back. So fifty five is two hundred percent. That'd be a good place to get to, at least. Your trial. Love it. Okay, let's see if I even have the full Fist of Heaven set. If I could even do that. Invoker Crown, Mountain of Light. Okay. Blackguards, White Hander. Huge stone, I got a gift, mutilation, a glowing ore, which you just sell, but it's only worth 50,000. I have 470 million. <laughs> Not really worth it, but okay. Potion, um, and I don't need any of these. I have, I have these. one say to an ancient ghost? I I have the full invoker set, I have the full black hand set. So I don't need either of them. Okay. Kill that out. Okay, down here. Nope. Okay, so I have helmet, shoulders, pants, and legs. Yeah, increased damage of Fist of Heavens and Heaven's Fury by 20,000%. I don't have... I need the hands. I need one more piece, basic. I need one more piece. Probably the gloves. And then I'll r probably the gloves, and I'll run a cinder coat probably still, and then I can run um I should be able to run like a sage set or something. Okay, so I'm working. I need one more piece. I mean, we can roll for gloves. Such a brave soul. What a steal. See you soon. That will look nice on you. Out of room. Nothing. <laughs> nice. Got the stone gauntlets though. Not playing there. Barb. Try again. Are you ready? Don't forget, luck always changes. That no, is too expensive. That nice? Dang. Four legends, but nothing that I need. Okay. Do I have enough diamonds to make? We'll see how many diamonds I can make. Nine. 
nine. I only need five, so that's fine. That would leave me with three for the chest. Yeah, and then I can put two there. Okay. Yeah, we dropped our damage quite a bit, but I get, I have a lot of damage. <laughs> But we upped our toughness by about 6, uh, 6k, so I'll take it. Okay. Um, we're still going for... Yeah. Not ready yet. Patience. I know my way around uh, the uh, temple of the first born. My faith is rewarded. Not yet. Bad luck for you, friend. Patience. And I know this isn't like the most powerful build or anything, it's just... I think it's fun. Son of a bitch. It exploded right when I popped my cooldown. Not ready yet. Much is on. Not yet. <laughs> that was a worthy foe. Gloria. I enjoy that. The Rift Guardian is here. Now, you have trial. Okay. Let's see the gem. There's 50. I need to go back. 50 is max rank on that, which is fine. Your skill blessings of the light. Okay, need to repair. We're good. Begin. Brave the rich. Not ready yet. Power pylon? Whoop. Patience. Go 
going north. Yep. Burn in the light. Not ready yet. Speed pylon is almost too fast. By the light be damned. Okay. Not yet. Bad luck for you, friend. This is bad enemy type. The, the tongue suckers. The liquors. The Rift Guardian is here. Okay, give me somebody nice. Man Carver, I'll take it. Easy stun. Oh, that's a shield. Now it just needs to be ancient. Okay. Pray our Johannes guard is ancient. Or our Jack and Ball. The blood runs. A glorious development. If it's ancient, I'd be happy. Very happy. Damn it. This is better though. Nah, it's not better. Higher strength, but it's not any lower multiplier. Oh, that would be a really good leveling item. Oh, Petrified Scream. What is that? The Echoing Nightmare. I don't know what that is. Is that another like of this is that part of the seasonal thing? Probably. Okay. Um we gotta do a belt. We got one of them. I go there I guess. Set dungeon. Um undaunted. Oh, okay, there we go. That's, um... Okay, we're going Leg Legacy of Nightmares now. We're dropping the lawn, we're going lawn. Because I got three wailing host rings in a row. So this one, strength vid armor, strength vid life, strength vid area damage. What's better, armor or life? Life? Yeah. Okay. Boom. While this is your only set item set bonus, every ancient you have increases damage dealt by 750% reduces damage taken by 4%. Legacy of Nightmares is better than Legacy of Dreams. Every time. It is better. So, that's what we're doing. Even if I have, even with the unity, even without the unity, it'll be better. Okay, so any my gems? 
And I can run... I don't have to run Legacy of Dreams gem anymore. I can run something else. in here. I do still want my powerful though. I don't know what to do though. This is the, the problem I was at. I don't know what else to use. I thought about maybe trying to work thorns into the build, but I don't really see how that would work. Zays for stun. Or maybe just maybe just trapped. Probably just trapped. Okay, well we need a GR build and a gold build. So any ancient belt, really. I have one. Witching hour. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Crit damage. Hell, I will take it. So gold wrap. Okay, so this is going to be our 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 six, 16 build. Well, not quite cuz I need I want the ring as well. Okay. So then Throw that on, and then I need some other stone. I mean, wildebeest would be pretty nice. So maybe we try that. I mean... It's going to be very situational. I mean, it's just going to give us life regen, basically. That's about it. Which is fine. I mean, yeah. Okay. And then this is going to be... GR... Okay. And I want to go through and look at my cube one more time. So dark, dark light, definitely need that. Uh, Fist of Heavens, need that as well. And then Rogars, get up to 100% life per second. Increase your life by up to 100 life per second by up to 100% based on your missing life. I mean, that's not very good. But can I put Unity in the cube actually? I don't think you can. Oh, I can. I'm going to do that. Not my ancient one. Unless I don't have... Uh, do I have a third one? No. Okay.
I mean... It's not ancient. It'll be better than this. It's not ancient, and it's better than Rogar's, so I'll take it. It's not the best, but it won't be bad either. Okay. Let's try this. See how we get down. I'm just definitely missing cooldown somewhere. I probably had a decent amount of cooldown on one of my rings. the end of the world but this build really likes cooldown because my main source of damage is my horse really when you think about it If I had another unity that wasn't ancient, I would cube it and wear that as my jewelry slot, but I'm not going to put my ancient one in the cube, especially because that's the second one I've gotten. I always struggle, there's certain rings and jewelry pieces that I always seem to struggle to get. In games, like, yeah, that unity was doing a lot. <laughs> There's always certain jewelry pieces I seem to struggle with getting. Um, both of the Legacy of Nightmare rings. Um. Unity, Shame of Del Seer, um, Flavor of Time, and it might not—it might not be that like I struggle to get them. It might just be that like you yeah, feel like I struggle to get them because of the ones you're looking for. So then you just get the other ones. And you're like, mm, that's not what I want. And that might be it too. You never know. Yeah, our damage is better. But our survivability went down Let's see what we can do. a decent bit. Mm, I can milk her boots again. I need to town. not boots. <laughs> Next. Brave the mm. rift. I think if I no, actually use my cooldown, I will be able. I'll be fine. Use my cooldowns when I'm not on my horse, basically. Yeah. 
I wonder if Goga, if I, if this legendary affix will proc Goga or not. If it does, I think I should wear Gogok. That would be, I, I, I wonder. Because if it does, then I could hold my, I could have my cooldowns up. Basically indefinitely. If it doesn't, well, it was a good, it was a good idea. I wonder when the next when the next season is supposed to start. I mean, they never like officially say when the next season is supposed to start. It's just you can kind of the community's kind of got it down to a system. You can pretty well guess as to when it will be. Really. Yeah, I think so. I think we're... The only reason I didn't want to put my Ancient Unity in the cube is because, I mean, it's the only other Unity I have. But I was only using it Legacy of Dreams, but now that we're Lawn, Lawn does better damage. Especially when you're full Ancient way better damage and that's the third time we've died so I definitely the think we need that unity and I can always get another one so I think we're gonna have unity in the cube even though it's ancient you have I can't carry anymore how many? 37? That's fine. I am skilled at clarifying gems. Yeah. Well, we'll try... We'll try getting our Wildebeest up. Wildebeets. We'll try to get that up first, and then we'll, if it still isn't enough, then I guess we'll cave and put the unity in the cube. But I mean, just hope we get one before then, so, basically, good stone of Jordan. Ancient Arkstone, Butcher Sickle, Arm Guards, Ramheart, and the Ancient Caldum. Unlucky for you guys, I need none of this. Marauder's Helmet? What? I don't need an Ancient Arkstone. Probably repair my stuff. Don't 
and roll for rolling gloves because we need invoker gloves. We're not invoker gloves, but we need uh, yeah, the golden gloves. Fortune favors the bull. See you soon. That will look nice on you. That is too expensive. Jesus, man. Our gambling luck is terrible today. Okay, let's keep going. How many twelve keys? We've done seven runs. Something I've learned too is this build really benefits from enemy type. There's a few enemy types that it's okay with, but then you get a couple enemy types and it's like, nah. You're dying. Like on the last map, died fucking three times in 15 seconds. I really think it's high physical damage mobs that we struggle with which a lot of builds their downfall is high physical attacker is not ready yet mobs that do high physical attack and a lot of the demon mobs are very high physical attackers like that guy would one shot me Luckily, I one shot him. So, see the uh, corpse explosion. Physical attack just outright killed me. Yep. This map's gonna suck. By the light be damned. There's nowhere for me to go. I just need to get through it, basically. I'm not even stopping. See? And I... Couldn't even predict that. Couldn't even see him. I'll kill this guy, because there's none in this room. Thank god. Not yet. Enjoy that. Power pylon. There's a shield pylon actually. So I can stand here now. Yeah, see. But it's also a shield pylon, they make you literally invincible. The rift guardian is here. RG, I'll take it, Infernal Maiden. I'm here to help. Okay, um, let's keep going on this. At least get it to 25. I need to go back. They could be ancient. Thank you for coming here. There are many a fine and I need a better belt. I mean, I'm only wearing this because it's ancient. Because I have one, two, three... Three ancients. So I'm getting... You know, 750, 750, 750. So 21... 21, 150? 2100 I know it's 2250 2250 2250 percent bonus from just three ancients nope those are worse too what the fuck man okay 
Okay. Garbage. I don't really think we need to be running empowereds anymore, but I have the money. I guess I'll drop it down to 10 or 50s. I wish so I can maybe hero. not die because I'm just wasting money. That's the thing, if you die once on an empowered GR, you're just wasting 20 million every time. So at that point, if you can't survive the GR, you might, you're not, there's no point in doing, in empowering it because you're just wasting the money. I mean, unless you're just wanting it for, to try to get a really good speed, but... Empowered gears don't show up on leaderboards either. <laughs> this way. Leaderboards are non empowered GRs because empowered GRs have a such I mean they increase the chance they increase the chance of giving you good mob type and good Not map yet. type. Basically give you the best possible chance at a really good GR map. Which is great when you want to level gems and stuff. Oh my god. I love Speedy Boy. It's Patience. so good. Nope. Oh, chain. Never mind. All good. He wasn't even blue. Either that or I killed him so fast the blue didn't even show up. We get stunned. So we die. We take increased damage when we're not moving, basically, from squirts. So one downside with squirts is you take increased damage when you're not moving. But you take decreased damage when you are moving. That's the whole gimmick though, like you have to be moving. I ride horse everywhere, so we're fine. Okay. Can I just please get the gloves I need? Okay. So we didn't waste it that time, thank god. 26. Um, I am returning to town. Fire isn't really a control impairing effect, though. Fire doesn't really have a stun aspect to it. So I'm really only getting, I'm really only benefiting from, uh, trapped when the Templar stuns somebody. Basically, but I'm killing them so fast he doesn't get to. <laughs> so it doesn't. It's not really helping me, but I don't really have anything else to use. I don't need any of those. We're just trying to work on gems. And if I can't get a another unity I'll just throw my ancient one in the cube because there's no way we, we survive GRs without it basically like if we did a 13 we would not be able to do a 13 right now we're so squish
which is kind of crazy to think about because we're playing a crusader one of the tankiest classes in the game on this map too. Not yet. There's enough density we should easily be able to finish. By the light be damned. There it is. Nine. Wait, did I just get a... Oh. Oh, I got another one. And Nems? Okay. And another Thunder Fury? Okay. Good run, good run. I think we're gonna do one of these now, because we, we, I think we're gonna do one. Because I haven't done one, and we have two now, I so. Returning to town. I think we will. I got Nems. I like it. I don't need Nems, but I got them. Okay, I'm gonna unlock this stuff. Pop this. Yep. Petrified Scream. We're going to do that, actually. And then I don't need anything else. Um, I'll keep the Thunder Fury, though. I really wish I could get another Freeze Deflector. Because I only have one. And it's on the Templar. But I have two Thunder Furies now. But, it's good. Um... So we go here, we click this, we click transmute. Okay, echoing nightmare. New event. I don't know how this works. I enjoy that. So I basically, oh, I just have to kill things really quickly. And they progressively get stronger, yep. And I died! Nothing stops the crusade. My faith is rewarded. That was garbage, dude. <laughs> Out of room. Okay, so death just kills it, apparently. Back. Okay. Well, that was garbage. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can be inserted into any so items with sockets. Utilized for augmenting ancient items. Ancient legendary items. Oh. Wait, really? How, how it work? How you work? <laughs> how do I use this? <laughs> Wedding band... Already had the legs. Okay, so we have this. I 
I don't know, man. It's cool looking, though. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to do that, though. But I'm not going to go back to Legacy of Dreams, so I, there's really no point in me keeping it. And COE is really not doing anything for me. Okay. COE is really not doing anything for me. So, probably the best thing we could have done, really. Um, we're still working on gems, and now we have our unity back, so we just go back up to a 12. We should be fine, honestly. And unity really only works if you have um, the... If your follower has the cannot die token, if they can't die, then they can just they can take an infinite amount of damage, basically. Which, in that case, it just means that you take fifty. It's just a fifty percent damage reduction, basically. But it only works if you have the immunity token. You, friend. I seem to get this map a lot for some reason. It's not very good. Yikes there, bud. We still die, though. I mean, I kind of expected that. So that's not really... Something new. Fireballs are fireballs, so they're gonna hurt what, no matter what happens, no matter what build you're running. That would probably kill too, honestly. The biggest thing I rely on in this build is the fact that I is being able to kill them faster than they can do damage to me, basically. Not ready. Bad luck for you, friend. Which most of the time works out fine, but then there's a couple enemy types that just nah. Screw you, bud. I'm not playing your game. You're gonna die. Ranged attacks? I can take ranged attacks. Bad luck for you, friend. Oh, finishing this map? I will take it. The Rift Guardian is here. With a cooldown pylon? You have triumphed. Nice. Hmm. Bracers, that's not what I want. Oh shit. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go spend my shards. When can I get a furnace, maybe? Please? I'm playing a strength class too. It should be more likely to drop. Two handed mace. But no. It ain't happened. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. See you soon. Fuck, I don't know. Don't I'm over Just I'm spend them so I can go pick up the other ones. Okay. Well, there's the. I need to go back. There's the gloves we wanted. Okay. 
Your valor is a glorious development. Let's take a little bit of time to try and build this out. Don't need any of these. Okay. I have this saved, right? VR lawn save. Okay. Go away. Okay. So come down here. So we're gonna have helmet, shoulders, pants. Gloves and boots. So, helmet, shoulders, gloves, hands, and boots. Okay. And we're going to take off these. And then I need Ring of Royal Grandeur. And I mean, why not? So this Bless Shield, we're going to keep it on because we're going to keep our generator. We're going to keep Bless Shield there, but we're only keeping it because of the Fist of Heaven's random charge thing. Actually, do we have... No, we have the Heavens. We have a Heavens Fury. Um... The fate of hell. So, we're wearing that. Sorry. Um, and then shield. Okay. Heaven's Fury against two additional rays, and that as well. Attacking with Fist of Heavens empowers you, allowing Heaven's Fury to deal 125% increased damage for 5 seconds. Hitting with Fist of Heavens returns 5 Wrath and reduces damage taken by 1% for 10 seconds, stacks up to 50 times. Okay, so there's my damage reduction. Increase the damage of Fist of Heavens and Heaven's Fury by 20,000. Okay. So I don't need these either. We're gonna run. Oh, I gotta change my skills. To Heavenly Strength, Refinery, Refinery. Um, we're gonna change this. Probably indestructible. And then towering shield to holy cause. Okay. And then we can throw that on. I'm gonna take the all resist gems out of my pants. Okay, so bracers. What do I wear for bracers? I really have no idea. I 
I think we're going to continue to wear the squirts, though. Okay, so bracers. Strong arms? No. Hmm. No. Oh, Bracer of Fury. Fury. Okay, well that's what we wear there. Um, we keep this weapon in the cube, and then um, we, swear we need to wear something else on our chest as well. The cinder coat's not going to help us at all here. But, okay. So I'm going to take some stuff off. So we don't need that. We don't need those. We don't need that. But I think we keep everything else. So, save this as Invoker? Or Valor set. Okay. So there's that. Come in here. Bop. 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 I don't need either of these rings. And then come here, take the set, put it back. We're not gonna wear it yet. I don't have everything set up how I want it to be. Okay. And now we change our skills back to Fervor, Towering Shield, Finery, and where's the Horse Lord Commander? Right there. Is there a steed charge that stuns? Okay. I'm gonna try one more. Prove yourself I changed this to do uh, to staggering shield instead. Which I think will help on certain enemies. Our opponents may be strong, but I will not stand down. They should have run when they had the chance. Not yet. Okay. Cower before Zakaroon. Do big damage.
Okay. Huh. Got hung up there for a second. You know, I might prefer the uh, the speed or the endurance longer duration. Really, that's where I'm getting most of my damage from, is from my steed. The longer I'm on the horse, the more damage I'm going to do. Returning to town. Forty. That's pretty decent. Look how bad my toughness is. Oh, it's because I'm missing gems. It's like, why is it so bad? Duh. What the hell, man? Like, I swear it was like 24 before. 22. This is at least 20. Maybe I try and make a set with the invoker uh, an invoker set. Um, because I do have an, uh, a primal set of invoker pants. So... I mean, it would be really nice. Get like a primal mage fist or a primal, primal cinder coat or something. You know, like... Primal, primal Jekin board. Can I get a primal that I want? I have a primal uh, Ashbringer as well, but that doesn't help me with anything. Oh, got another Crucible. Crucible. I'm up to five. Like it? Oh, there's only like eighty in there. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna roll for you know, anything ancient, basically. <laughs> I mean, twenty-three is pretty decent. Fifty-nine, ninety-six is pretty decent. Fifty-nine is not bad. We'll roll chest armor. Our cinder coat could be a lot better. Could be better. Don't forget, out of always changes. Heart of light. I didn't have that one before. Oh, well, it's that set done then. I didn't look. Crooky day. Con boots. Okay. I already have that. I already have the steed shield. Okay. Fate smiles. What you got? Day. Lucky you. Don't forget, luck always changes. That is too expensive. Hmm. Okay.
Did I change my cube? No. I did not. Okay. Um, an hour and 20 on the recording. Um, let's do one more. Start leveling up our wildebeest, because we got our other one to 40. And 40 is pretty decent, so... Good map. Okay enemy type. Pretty good run. Condi? Shielded, chained, really. Double Condi. One map, too. I don't remember the last time I was I won map at GR. I know I've done it. This map's too small. Yeah, I'm not really getting benefit from using the the chainy horse that drags enemies along because I'm killing them too fast. Because the idea with that is you drag all the enemies together into one spot so you can DPS a whole group of them. So we'll change it back. I'm here to help. Hello. I can't tell. I'm so bad at knowing what the ring is. What? Like seeing the rings underneath the question mark. Well, that's a 10. I need to go back. Life per second might be helpful. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of just throwing to the wind here with that one. Just because I don't know what other gem to use for the push build. Fortune favors the bold. We'll open it, because I don't know what this ring is. Oh, it's a... Is that a unity? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> really? <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you, game. I'll take it. Motherfucker. Ancient Icons, chest piece? Well, that was a, that was a big FU from the game, but I'll take it. Unity is a unity. Okay, um, anything else I want to do before we sign it off? I don't think so. I think we're good there, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a longer one. I might try and cut it back a little bit, but uh, yeah. We didn't get a whole lot done as far as, I mean, we swapped from Legacy of Dreams over to Legacy of Nightmares. 
Um, so now we can, this is where our build is really going to start to take off. Because every single ancient we get, every new ancient we get is going to add 750% damage to us. So, I think we're really going to start to take off here. This, this will be, a, this will do T16s once we get full ancients. Not even full ancients either, just maybe, maybe two more pieces. And we'll be, we'll be on 16s no problem. So, yep, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And we will see you all in the next one. Adios, my friends.